Welcome back to another episode from Ampro Engineering. And as you can see here, the Tyco Bandit is back. I think at this point here, if you haven't seen the previous episode where we did this to the poor car, we are clearly going toward a disassembly and assessment route. And I would like to do that uh, with this body. We can begin with some background on this car. As I mentioned previously, I picked this up used. It was in quite poor shape, having the decals all stripped off. And of course, the front shock tower not in existence. The car was quite run down, but at least it did run re uh, remarkably well. I did try and spritz up the body, but I was never very happy with this. And uh, I do have another Tyco Bandit that I did paint prior to this one here, another one of the used cars which I like quite a lot. So this one here is going to go down the restoration path. So step one, I guess we need to start, I guess, peeling off some of these stickers. There's quite a few of them. Before we start taking the, the decals off, I do want to disassemble the body a little bit more. This front end seems to come off and so do the taillights. The taillights are remarkably easy to remove. In fact, they are a common problem area on Tyco Bandits. If you put a screwdriver right inside the leading edge here. Come on you. These are actually pretty good. There you go. Okay. They just slide directly out. Most of the bandits I have are missing the taillights. If your bandit is in fact missing these taillights, I do sell a reproduction set and I'll go over some of the upgraded parts for the bandit coming up. At this point here, I still want to talk about some of the disassembly. And again, there it is off. So both taillights have been removed and you can see that they have a little slot that they push directly into. It does appear that the front end comes off and to be blatantly honest with you, I have no idea how it happens. It looks like it pulls straight down, but I don't see any at least readily available heat stakes. Oh, you know what I do see though? I think this is how it comes off. It appears that right in this general area, there is a little peg. And I bet if we pry this forward, just slightly beyond the peg, either A, we'll get it off, or B, we will destroy the port. All right, I pulled it slightly forward and we'll see it in a sec here. There's a little pop and, wow, that's actually well done. You can see that it has just these two little pegs here that when you slide it in, it falls into these two holes. We can also tell that we may need to clean the body again. As is the case with some of these hard body restorations, or even just paint jobs in general, they always require at least one cleaning. Uh, oftentimes it's going to be many, many more cleanings than that. Since I intend on redoing this entire grill, I am going to break the heat stakes on these lights and actually remove the lights. I have a flush cutter right here that I happen to adore. So if you do, actually if you own any kind of RC car that has parts on a sprue, you should get one of these because they make, uh, it leaves all the edges quite nice. All right, great, so these are off. See that the headlights are now cleared out. And let's try and pull off these side markers. It looks like they're the exact same basic setup. And there's one side marker. You see, I painted it. Those would be a good time to clean the paint. Of course, if uh, some of you out there know my channel very well, I think you already know what's gonna happen with these headlights and side markers. They're not gonna go back on ever because we're just gonna 3D print some clear ones and then the Bandit will have operational headlights and turn signals and tail lights. And you know how it is. It just goes down the rabbit hole even deeper. Awesome. So these are all out. Turn signals are decals, and I got this little sticker here. This is from a Tyco crash dummy. Wow, apparently it was silver at some point. I took off the decals on the front panel. Let's push these out of the way, and we'll put them in a little baggie. You always want to put everything in a little baggie. Even if you think you're the most organized person on the face of the earth, uh, without putting them in a bag, you're just going to lose everything. Okay, there we go. Next, let us... Well, this is basically disassembled. Probably should take off these rear shock mounts, and I'm gonna be very honest, 
pretty terrified about this because of usually what happens to these pegs. You can see on the right side where I did repair it as a youth. I am utterly against recording this part here because I know this thing's gonna break and then you're gonna see me break it. And I'm really not excited about that. So what I've found out that the, seems the best way to get this thing out is to just kind of wiggle it a little bit side to side here. And eventually this will pop off. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's astounding. Well, that's off. To pull off these decals, I'm using this flat edged X-Acto knife here, and just a, just a blade for the X-Acto knife. All I want to do is just kind of get it under a tad just to start the decal peeling. If you have really nice fingernails, that would do the trick too. And once that's peeling, we can just yank it straight off. The awesome part is that's all sticker. I'm not worried about it because I'm gonna use some cleaner on it and that'll melt all that away as well. So I'm just gonna go around this body and start by taking all this stuff off. I'm at some of these paper decals now and they're just awful. I cannot stand paper decals. The plan anyway is going to be oven cleaner. I've been using oven cleaner for many years to remove paint from RC car bodies, and uh, this is hard bodies in particular. It does not harm hard bodies. I have even used it to remove paint on Lexan bodies. However, it does most certainly harm those bodies. It makes them significantly more brittle. So if you do have to use it on a Lexan body, it is uh, not possible to stay on there more than a couple of hours because it most likely will heavily damage the body. There we go, that's better. Get that off. Ugh, another one. This chrome on top is just tape. There we go. And we'll see how, how nice this will peel off. I suspect quite poorly. I suspect it's gonna come off and leave all of its adhesive here. Oh, there's something up here. I do not remember that. The 13s, I think I mentioned earlier, all come from the one of the Tyco Crash Dummies cars is the black one. I don't know why all the 13s are on this truck. I happen to have the black one still, and it has all of its stickers, so that's interesting. Wow. That is all the decals on this body, and there were quite a number of them, it turns out. In fact, you can see this, uh, this area here, I don't know what is causing this, but this area is quite dirty. You know what I bet this is? I think this is residual decal, the original decal. I think it's just adhesive because it is really all over this truck. It's not very nice at all. At this point, I am going to go get the oven cleaner and let's spray it down. The body is ready for paint removal. The majority of this body is pla well, the whole body is plastic, but most of this body is just bare plastic. I use a oven cleaner, in this case here, Easy Lift Off, I've, or Easy Off, I should say. I've been using this stuff for around about 25 years on my RC cars. It has never harmed a hard plastic body. This is available at most grocery stores in the United States. I don't know, I'm sure there's either the same brand or a similar brand throughout the rest of the world, but this is basically what you would use to clean your ovens. I've got it on a little metal rack that I use for this stuff, and it should also get rid of all of the adhesive on the body. So we're just gonna give it a little spritz. Don't do this indoors. Um, it's still oven cleaner, even though this is lemon scent. No, it's not lemon scent. They have, it's fresh scent. They have some that are no odor, but still, this is best done outdoors. So just give it a nice, healthy coating here. And like I said, the body is covered in adhesive, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cover the entire car and it'll get all that stuff off. This stuff works best if you just kind of coat it like so, as much as you possibly can, and just let it be. Just like that. Do not put it in the sun as it will dry it. So keep it in the shade. And that's how we're gonna leave it for a few hours. I'll check it probably this afternoon or this evening, maybe get another coat. And tomorrow at about, I would say by tomorrow night, I'll try and get this paint off. It should just wipe right off. I mean, it, it basically will bubble up. 
and come right off. I went ahead and sprayed this down. I really should have grabbed the camera and I didn't. So you can see just by spraying with the hose, basically all the paint came off. And I did save this side for you, so let's do that. I'm going to brush it as well, but just to give you an idea of how well the oven cleaner works. And just so you know, this is only after about four hours. And after all that cleaning, we have, um, uh, we, we have, um, uh, this, um, well, uh, the paint's gone. So, sorry, just joking aside. This is very common. Uh, this is a leftover residue. If I rub at it a bit, it is coming off on my thumb. It'll get blacker and blacker. I don't, I don't know what the reason for this is, but the car is very, very smooth, except for this area here where that 13 was. There's still some more adhesive there and right here in the bed where that little shell decal was. Other than that, that did accomplish what I wanted. Um, there was, you know, I was able to take the paint off the whole truck and the front piece here without any sanding. So that was very, very safe for the ABS. It's just a little bit hideous. I think this is a good point to stop at this uh, this juncture. The next video will go ahead and prep the entire body. I hope to have the entire body sanded and smoothed out, ready for paint in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is a little unique to what I usually do in my channel, but I hope this has given you a little more insight if you wanted to remove some paint from your hard bodies. That oven cleaner approach is quite good. And as we progress in this car's repaint, you'll, I think, see that it was a good choice for this particular, particular hard body. Thank you so much for watching. We will have some more videos coming out, not only for this car's continuation, but a number of others. Please subscribe to me on YouTube and go ahead and comment away if you have any questions. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at MPro Engineering on both. And before you take off, don't forget to check out the band Blue Pinto, who allows me to use their music in my videos. A link to their page can be found in the credits, as well as a link to my Shapeways page. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.